So we have just um, pressed the go button. And within seconds, we are moving at about nine miles an hour in what could become West Sacramento's future riverfront shuttle. Just trying to create lots of choices for all kinds of needs and weather conditions for folks to get around. If you look around, you'll notice the shuttle's missing a steering wheel and driver. Hands off. Hands free. Hands off. <laughs> I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong. It's meant to carry people short distances, a couple miles, probably max. Um, and along a fixed route. That route is being proposed along 3rd and Riverfront Streets, connecting places like Rayleigh Field with restaurants like Burgers and Brew. We get a lot of people that, um, you know, go down to Rayleigh Field for the River Cats games and anything to get people down a little bit further this way, to, you know, great by me. But not so fast. The DMV is still coming up with rules of the road when it comes to autonomous vehicles. The state itself is putting together the rules about how to operate uh, AV vehicles, and we're all learning about them. The state is even learning about them. So in the meantime, we're limited to demo days like this. It runs on a battery charge that'll last uh, eight to 10 hours. Um, it's air conditioned, it's got all the, the amenities. And getting a glimpse into the future of transportation, which some West Sac residents can't wait to try out. As soon as I get a chance, I will. Yeah. When you think of driverless, you're probably thinking safety. So I'm going to put this shuttle to the test. When I walk right in front of this shuttle, it should come to a complete stop because there are sensors in front of this vehicle that detects if something or someone is in its path. Reporting from West Sacramento, Kathy Park, KCRA 3 News.